everybody, most of the internet sensations have dissipated. Yeah. Now they had to come to the real craft and get with real comics. Comics. And you start see that. trying to learn how to actually do this shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Hey, I gotta ask you I wanna take back to the comedy just for a second, man. Like, when you think about just the internet side of comedy, when you seen it come into play, and you basically was one, you came from where you was at them at the, you know, you was at these back rooms and doing it the way that it was done formally. When you seen that, what did you think about it, and how have you seen them progress in the midst of the internet phase? Well, I, the internet phase came, got hot. <laughs> It got out of Pandemic came. Damn shit. Cooled all that shit down. <laughs> Did. Because I don't even blame the, the comics. I blame the people. Okay. Because people, comedy is so new to black people for some reason. Even though we've been doing it the longest. A long time. But you, you don't really, live entertainment is really new. Even though we were doing that, we used to go to shows. Now it's different. Man, it's crazy when somebody's 60 years old say this is their first comedy show. Wow. Mm. Like, damn. Yeah. But I had to realize this is not most this is not actively most people's life. I'm doing something that I got into that when I came home in nineteen ninety seven, it was no there's no program on how to become a comic. It's still not. Uh-uh, uh-uh. This is something that you you that you gotta learn. This is one of them crafts. Like most people don't teach you how to paint. No. Sipping, sipping paint. That sip, that shit ain't that. They ain't paint. I'm talking about these niggas who really do this shit. Yeah, that, yeah. That start from scratch. Like, scratch. Did, what is this? Is this, a, is this a pomegranate? What is this? <laughs> First of all, this is a red earth. Man, you say, <laughs> how, you, you, how you become this? You don't. You don't know how to become that. <laughs> it's like it's like comedy is like this. Is it craft is passed down from one comedian to the next? No. It's not. No. No, who told you that? Because every and you, time and you, and you said that so honestly, like, like you, I'm, like, I'm like, letting it roll with it. You hear me? Because I'm gonna like, listen to the nigga who did it. You know what I mean? Comedy is passed down. It's now no you hustling. I'm gonna tell you this how this happened. But if I don't know, I'm gonna be like, okay. No, I because when it. I say that, I'm thinking about like I want to get into co- in comedy, but I know there's an art to the to the comedy, right? To, to being a comedian. The internet people don't do that no more. The internet people go on and go, nigga. I'm finna fall down this camera and look at somebody <laughs> say something. Yeah. And then they start like that. But the, the the artistry of it, you learn in the business. Right. That's what you I was gotta, talking about. And the internet people don't get that. Right. It's 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 that's why, okay, so when the pandemic came, yeah. right? Comics took back over the internet. We didn't ever we didn't ever have because it, it wasn't it wasn't a tool when we was coming up. Now it's on. Okay. The world not moving. All right. The internet person needs all type of camera people, the lights, camera, action, cut, over, editing all that. Shit, I was like, Hello? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, what y'all know about this? <laughs> And then now you had saw during the pandemic, yeah. comics was on. Yeah. Real comics. Was yeah, on. yeah, yeah. And the niggas had to step in there. What's going on? Where can I get my everybody over here? Nah. It's so up, then, nigga. Then, af- then afterwards, now you see everybody, most of the internet sensations have dissipated. Yeah. Now they had to come to the real craft and get with real comics. Comics. And you see that. trying to learn how to actually do this shit mm-hmm. because and then now it's another part of it if you off the internet you come how many internet comics have you actually went to go sit down and see yeah it I get, seen it, one you get tired and you ain't gotta say who it is uh uh-uh, I ain't gonna say but, but I, I seen I, I seen yeah and you ain't go back <laughs> I ain't, you ain't gotta tell me you ain't go back <laughs> Now, I, bro, I can have this conversation with people all this day long. Wild. I'm, like, I'm like, yeah, you went, you went, didn't you? Yeah, you went, you went back. No, nah, you go back. Why? How did you go back? He was like, this ain't really what I. Yeah, I know it ain't. <laughs> she was so incomplete, not really ready. Like, what is this? This, this, this 
Try to do the sketches live, nigga. That now <laughs> it's like when you start looking at him, like, I don't really like this. <laughs> like, <laughs> It's like it, it starts to dissipate. You like, yeah. hey man, this shit is starting to break down under pressure, dog. Damn, <laughs> man. man. These, these shoes can't really say no, man. Why, why my shoe coming apart? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't make them right. You know what I'm yeah, saying? So that's that's like, real. Yeah, I tell them, I just ask people, I ask people a simple question. Did you see somebody? Yeah. Did you go back? No. Why didn't you go back? This shit wasn't like, I, yeah, I'm like, I don't have to, I don't have to diss nobody. I can just tell Damn. you what. You saw, I know you're not going back to see that again because it wasn't good the first time you was caught up in the internet hype. You went to go see the personality. Now the show ain't shit. Wow. Now those people who realized that they show wasn't shit and then they went to go get the, the showmanship of it, you applaud them. But the other people who, like, they, they faded. That's why you don't hear a bunch of about internet comics no more. That shit is gone. It's over. And I tell people, this shit, man, when comics was talking about, hey, man, old comics was saying, hey, bro, don't even worry about it. The universe going to set this shit right. That's why we was sitting back. When we was arguing about this shit, we sitting back like this. <laughs> oh, we ain't, hey, hey, hey. And then they would say, hey, man, um, you want to be on this show with somebody? Yes. Put me on there. Ooh. Put me on there. Please, please put me on there one minute. <laughs> what y'all want me to do? Y'all want, want me to host? Y'all want to please let me host? Please let me host. Please. Uh, if y'all let me host, I'm, I'm, I ain't coming. I ain't coming. Uh -huh. I ain't coming. Y'all keep that money. Y'all want to be Then it's like, and I, and I tell you, my partner, Billy Sorrells, he'll tell anybody, yeah. hey man, I set these real comedy. I, I pull all these in. Hey man, listen, listen. Let's calm. Everybody calm down. Everybody calm down. They're gonna start doing shows, and this is when this shit gonna get real. So you knew this? Oh man! And then they start booking real comics on shows with internet. Thank you. Wow! Thank you. And people start saying, "Wait a minute! I know I paid to see this person, but this was the nigga, though." Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Said, so, and then coming in, and say, hey man, can you stretch? No. And make you switch position? No. Make them live, stand on it. Make them eat it. And them arrogant. And, and the, the problem with the internet at the time, they was getting arrogant. Ah, oh, nigga, they we make count. some money. We we, we 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 put ass in the building. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comedy clubs made a little money off y'all. Was putting y'all on the Wednesdays and the Tuesdays. You selling out the place on Wednesdays and Tuesdays. And then Nene Leaks was doing the same thing too. <laughs> this is all, this is a, I used to this this the from the internet are no different than Jake the Snake and uh and the goddamn, goddamn the, um who else is doing um it's it's some wrestlers that do comedy in uh then they just come up and tell their stories about yeah 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 this is niche audiences man when real audiences come together with that shit Alex insane. Thomas told me he said My ten name. minute. Ten, he said, being ten, he said, being funny on the internet, but come and do a whole set. He's, you know, my age or my level or higher. At first, they were really against that with this old, this shit, this old Instagram shit. Man, old, face on this old he was like, that's some other, shit. that's some other shit. And I'm not knocking anybody that does. I do what I can do. I'm not, I'm not a TikToker. You know, I don't care if a kid walked in and he's 19 right now. You tell me he got 152 billion views. It's just not my shit. I always tell them young niggas, I was fake. I was funny your whole life. Yeah. So I found a way. You, yeah, get, you yeah. get what I'm saying? Um, I I just, when it first started, I just had a problem with dudes calling themselves comedians. Okay. You, you're funny. Anybody can be funny for 30 seconds. Maybe a minute. A comedian is, there's 2,000 people. Here's the mic. You're next. Uh, now, now let me see how funny you are. 10 minute funny ain't, ain't, ain't an hour mm -hmm. funny. 45. Remember he said yeah, that? He like told me that in LA. When hosts and features, like I used to love when features when features get beside themselves. You went out there, you did 20 good minutes, huh? Okay. 20 good ones. I appreciate it. They gonna forget about you once I get out there. You know I'm gonna be out there for an hour, right? Hour 10, hour 20. I'm, I'm a... My introduction is 
better than, than your set. Oof, that's hard. Because because it's a reason. Because when I was a feature, I just did my feature shit. I wasn't trying to upstage the headliner because it's his show. That's real. When I was a host, it's the I'm a, I'm a, I'm on somebody's team when you hosting and feature. Now I'm out. I got my own team. I only do a two man show. Another headliner and me. He's a the person that opened for me for me. Marcus D. Wilde is a headliner. Wow. He's going out doing 25 minutes. You know what I'm saying? But he's a headliner. And 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 people DL he's just, I, he I'm grooming him the same way DL grew me. Yeah. DL like let me tell you something. This ain't no goddamn feature. It's the headliner wow. that happens to be featuring for me. That's just how he used to say it all the time. Y'all can go out and think that this man, he say, y'all watching a year and a half what you see from this man. Y'all don't realize he's going out, he's doing 45 in front of me. He's doing, he, if you don't, if you think that he's a feature and he's doing 45 to 50 minutes in front of me, almost an hour in front of me, then you don't know anything about the craft. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.